Jupevestebro Westbridge Christmas episode 19. Farvel Beatrice. Goodbye Beatrice. So, let's write. Another episode I love, though I will criticize the offensive elements of it. Another episode I love, uh, spoilers for these first 19 episodes, and let's dive right in. So, yeah, Stuart claims that you, if people can't take a joke, the, you know, they're, they're not worth hanging around with, you know, so, you know, hopefully the people that he, you know, sucker punched, have a sense of humor about it and yeah um Stuart is not worried that the the letter either of the, yeah one of the le letters sent is you know asking for for him to pay for something <clears throat> because they stopped sending bikers three months ago you know and then Danny's like bikers you mean the the yeah what, uh, what do y'all call those in English um yeah you know the the letter you get that says you owe this amount of money is says no they stopped sending those four months ago and you know in Danish the the words for biker and that letter are that that they send to tell you to pay up those two words sound very similar so that's the the joke there and and yeah so Danny is have has to go back to jail and we have the thing of you know he says it, it's you know it really sucks to have to go back to jail you know living with you know, drug addicts and and psychopaths is terrible, but it's still better than prison. You know, the jails. Wow. And yeah, um, the dentist joke is legitimately quite funny. You know, I've never seen someone run that fast since the second time I went to the dentist. They say an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. He pulled out two of mine, and then he said, you know, let, ah, crap, what, what is the English, let's settle this, you know, financially, and, and, yeah, apparently he pulled out two of the dentist's teeth. That's really dark. And, yeah, Kifia does not like the sound of there being cops in the... You know that the cops will come there here right and this also this sets off the the last arc of the the show this thing of you know they're going to to fight fight the power <sighs> yeah appropriation which yeah um and yeah and we get the the jokes about you know the the how Stewart got rid of the competition, you know, a McDonald's and a kebab place and, and various. And usually he he took care of them by taking a dump on the floor and then calling the, the what are they, what do you all call those in English? Um, health department, you know. And let's see. Yeah, and and one of the things that Danny is is packing up to leave with is a Donald Duck comic book. You know, I used to have those when I was like seven. You know, Danny's old enough to be a father. And yeah, and and we get the the thing about yeah, this is this is the one where Stewart's father has a song and it's yeah it's quite catchy and you know features that the the kind of you know the self-justification that you often hear people who 
you know, when it comes right down to it, they want to hit someone, they prefer to hit someone weaker than them, so they choose to hit their own child. You know, yeah. It's, you know, I'm doing it for your own good. It's going to hurt me more than it's going to hurt you kind of thing. Which I, I kind of appreciate because, like, in an earlier episode, you know, I don't think the show is buying it because in an earlier episode, like, the the father character does specifically say things that make it clear he does want Stuart to, to get hurt. You know, he says... If some if a stranger offers you something to drink, it might be poisonous, so make sure to drink it. I wanted you to to cross the street before, not after the the uh, carriage you know went past stuff like that. So yeah. And and yeah, you know, at the at the very end, the the you know, child steward responds, I remember which, that's like the one thing that they were able to get out of the kid. There's a, on the DVD, there's this, you know, outtake thing where they're trying, you know, but this kid is like five, he's not, th th this whole thing is very strange to him. They can't really get much, out. like, the director tries, to, you know, telling him, okay, say, I am Stuart Stardust. And the kid says, you are Stuart Stardust. <laughs> Just, yeah. You know, which, like, if he wasn't acting, that's actually, yeah. That's true. That's, that's, you, you know. He's not used to, to being asked to, to just repeat verbatim. And I th the director tries a couple of things and doesn't really get, you know, like the one thing he got out of it was, yes, I remember. And so, you know, I'm guessing they, they had a thing planned here and they had to rewrite it when they realized they could not get anything out of this kid other than I re yes, I remember. And let's see. Yeah, and and um apparently Danny did not get a passing grade and only barely passed eighth grade until the third time he tried. Yikes. And yeah, they they agree that they're gonna gonna fight back. And I like that the speaker is like, so I guess if they lose, I guess that means that Stuart has to leave the house and Danny goes to prison. And if they win, they don't. What if it's a tie? Is that even possible? You know, and just yeah, completely. <laughs> You know, he's he's basically just thinking out loud at this point. Is this is not really, you know, it's not particularly useful information for for the audience or anything. And Stuart loses his temper with him yet again. But this time the the speaker isn't actually like scared of him. He's just like, okay, calm down, buddy. <laughs> Which is kind of interesting. Like I guess he. In in the twenty four hours between episodes, he you know completely overcame his fear of of Stuart, which you know again fair enough. Stuart has no idea where this guy is. I I don't know how he would actually carry out one of his several threats of physical violence.